What's going on you guys? Uncle Jesse here and welcome to another Sundays with Jesse. This is a show where each and every Sunday I come to you guys in a sort of a vlog format telling you guys about projects I'm working on, different topics and activities. Uh, yeah, this one's gonna be a quick one because it is Mother's Day. That is right. Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there, your mamas, your wives, and your baby mamas. Well, hopefully not all of those, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, after you finish watching this video, which I'll promise to keep quick, make sure if you haven't already contacted one of your loved ones to give them a call, give them a big hug and kiss, all that good stuff. I will be making breakfast probably while you're watching this uh, for my wife. So yeah, we're super excited. All right, let's talk about some fun stuff. First up, I've got a few projects. I'm trying to crank out two big projects this upcoming week that are Marvel related. Uh, you might be able to take a guess at to what those are, those two projects. I believe you guys have seen at least one of them and if you're pretty close to checking out what's behind me, you can probably spot the other one. So I'm gonna try and get those two wrapped up this week and the videos published probably by the end of the week for those, and I'm really excited to share those with you guys. Uh, really excited to get these projects kicked off, and I have a whole bunch that I'm working on in the background, uh, not specifically in the background here, but just in general working on that I'm trying to crank out. I've got a few more of these statue builds. I just cannot get enough of them, and there are so many of them cranking out lately. And then I also have a few helmets that I'm printing and actively working on. I'm trying to see when I'm gonna fit those into the mix. I also ran a YouTube poll on the uh, Bucky Captain America Winter Soldier metal arm, actually it's the left arm. So I'm gonna be working on that this week as well while I'm working on these other projects. So in between while things are drying, I'm gonna be trying to sand and do all that other prep work for this arm. And I'm gonna try and follow that up in probably two weeks time, fingers crossed. We'll see if I can actually pull that off. All right, so getting down low for this next one here. So I finally got unboxed and set up the Inacubic Photon Resin DLP, I think it is, a 3D printer. This thing is super easy to assemble. It, literally, you take it out of the box and you put on the handle and it's assembled, which is <laughs> awesome. Uh, the process for getting it going, on the other hand, was a little bit challenging. I had some really difficult times getting the bed leveled on this thing. Let me pop this open. Uh, basically, what was happening every time I was going to do a print, uh, I thought I had everything leveled accordingly and my prints were ending up getting stuck to the bottom of the vat here. The vat is what holds the resin that you're gonna print on. Uh, but I have finally been able to get a print up and running on it and it is the test print for this and I'm gonna be loading up some other files here today so that I can start cranking out some more prints on this bad boy. So let's check that out right now. Right. Test file is done printing. Let's get off the printer. This is looking super impressive. All right, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try using this uh, little spatula that it came with. That's not budging. <laughs> not budging. Whoa, it just shot that across the room. All right, so now to clean this print up, I have a bowl full of uh, isopropylmol alcohol. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> this is 91%. I got this from Walgreens, I think, for 99 cents a bottle. I've gotten a whole bunch of these since I've been getting into the resin printing thing. And then another bottle filled with water. Um, normally what I use, let me go grab some tongs here. Tong to tong tong tongs. Yeah, these are just tweezers. Um, so I'm gonna grab it so that I can pick it up and not have to put my hands in here. Um, and then I just like to rinse this around. Uh, I also have lids on these, so if I wanted to cover it, all depending on the print, I guess. And I can shake it around. basically helps clean off any of the uncured resin from the prints. And just shaking it around helps agitate it a bit to get that to kick off. So that is this one. Probably grab it by the base. Maybe I'll grab it by one of these bottom cubes. Oh, and this 
picking up some other prints here. And then I just take this and dump it in the clean water. And again, mixing around, just trying to further clean the print off. I usually do this two or three times. And then you'll wanna stick this under a UV light or in direct sunlight and let it sit for a bit to further cure. So I'm gonna do this and then stick it in my curing bucket. This is looking really clean. I am super impressed with how this is turning out. Oh, oh man, there's something green in there and I didn't realize it was the actual print. Dad, dad joke, just a really bad joke here. Make sure I don't have any smoothie in my uh, mustache. So here is the torture cube. This thing turned out ridiculously good. It's super, super clean. By the way, obviously finally got a print to stick to this. Um, and yeah, this is just ridiculously impressive. This is just the test file. This is uh, sort of a take on Maker's Muse lattice cube torture test. They have their AnyCubic Photon uh, logo and lettering in here, and it's just meant to be a really cool little display piece and to just show off what this printer can do. I think this took about four to five hours to print. It's a pretty complex piece here that it went off in print. I'm gonna be printing some other non uh, geometric shapes here. <laughs> I guess they are geometric, but uh, yeah, some more fun nerdy things here. I'm gonna be cranking out on this guy here. Uh, so looking forward to this. Uh, I am going to try and figure out what the heck was going on with my leveling and probably try and re-level a few more times just to make sure I fully understand how that worked. I'm assuming it's all user error and not really an issue with the printer. And yeah, I will be doing a full on video on this printer in the upcoming weeks, but I wanted to share this with you guys because I thought it was really cool and I really enjoyed how this turned out. I just want to say thanks again for watching you guys. I'll be coming back to you guys again next weekend on another Sundays with Jesse, maybe with a coffee, maybe not with a coffee. We'll see how long I can keep the no coffee thing going here. I just want to say thanks again for watching you guys and I will see y'all next time. Bye now. You want to do a whole lot of spinach, two bananas, one banana, two bananas, a whole bunch of strawberries, and then also some orange juice. And this was all organic, by the way. That was, again, thanks to my wife who has gotten us on a big organic kick in the house over the last year or so. Yeah, organic food. Go figure.